all right so basically what I've got left to do is uh, gluing on the bumpers and the grill and the mirrors uh, windshield wipers and decals so let's start by gluing the uh, bumpers and stuff on and the grill If I can, I always try to use super glue on chrome parts. If I just, I just feel like it, they stick better if you do that. So, if you're going directly on the plating or whatever, uh, I mean, obviously, if you scrape the plastic off or scrape the plating off and glue it that way, uh, and it's probably the, that's probably the better way to do it. Um, but I'm just gonna do it with this super glue here. It'll get it to work. I test fitted all this stuff before and it it fit pretty good. You do need to pay attention to the kit. Um, the front and rear bumper is different. So I've left the rear bumper on the tree yet, so I didn't get them mixed up. I think I've said it before, uh, but this kit goes together pretty well. Um, it's a, in my opinion, it's a, a pretty good quality kit. So if you get a chance to get one, uh, I recommend it. So there's that. <clears throat> like I said, the only other things I have are mirrors, um, headlights, and windshield wipers. So I'll go ahead and get those put on. When I come back, we'll do decals. Be right back. All right, getting ready to start the decals. Uh, these decals are from Sunset Graphics. I think they've been out for a while. We will see how good they do. I've never used them before, so hopefully they do a good job. I uh, did a test on one of the decals I wasn't going to be using from that sheet, and uh, I mean it seemed to do okay. It did seem to want to stick to the backing pretty well, so and not slide off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably get most of this stuff wet so it'll have a chance to loosen up here. And there's not many decals, it's just the Hudson Hornet on both sides, 92, there's two on each side, and then four on the roof in all the corners. And I'm going to put pure lube up front, 
grant piston rings on the rear window and I think that'll pretty much do it uh, I think there's a 92 on the back as well so we'll see how that goes The Pure Lube and the Grant that I'm using is from the kit decal sheet, so they are different than than these uh, these other ones, Sunset decals. Yeah, they're stuck on there good. Dunk them some more here. Again, like usual, my water is warmed up with this mini crock pot here. So, start loosening up. Okay. Uh, I think that's ready. Looks like it went on there pretty good. Dump those there. Okay, that side will be ready soon. Well, that side is ready, uh, but I'm gonna wait until I get the this side finished first. And if you use these decals, you, you'll notice whenever you go to cut them out that you've got to cut pretty close to the lettering because there's a lot of uh, overhang, I guess, whatever you want to call it, on there. So I cut fairly close to the letters and the numbers. So just keep that in mind if you use this these decals for this. Not a bad thing. Just you don't want all that extra hanging out over there. I ripped the two on this one. doesn't fit. So I wanted to put the Hudson Hornet on first so I could put the numbers in the right place. Okay, that one's ready. It 
another thing I was worried about these decals is if the the blue would bleed through on the white but these are solid uh, I don't see any blue bleeding through on these the white of the letters so something about like I'm pretty happy with them for the first time using them so Alright, that side's done. I'm just using a paint bottle to hold it up at an angle for ease of use, I guess. these in So the only area that gave me trouble here is the door lock, but I think once it, once I use that decal setting solution on it, it'll go down right over it, but I'm going to let all this dry first before I do that. I didn't want to use it if I didn't have to. I didn't know how well they would hold up. These decals would hold up for that. <clears throat> Go ahead and get the small numbers ready as well because that'll be next. Some cars on the back here had a big Hudson rocket, which I do have access to at least one or two of those, but I will not use it on this one. The number will be just fine. I wanted to keep the, the trunk emblem on it as well so see all that time these decals were in there and they're still not loosened up
Alright, and that's pretty much decals on the Hudson. Uh, I've got a couple more, like I said, but I mean, it's, they're from the kit decals, so, you know, I'm sure they'll work okay. So, I'll finish it up, and then I'm basically done with it, and I'll take some pictures, and they'll be at the end. Uh, thank you for watching this build, and I think uh, the next kit I do uh, will make the Ford guys happy. Um, I'm not a Ford guy, but I need to build some Ford kits for some Ford lovers. So uh, that'll be the next one. Thank y'all for watching.